look and carry on to triangles. If we, we have a triangle here with angles 1, 2, and 3, and if we have the base of the triangle, which is what we're going to call the flat part at the bottom, the base of the triangle, we carry this line forward. So this is a straight line. This, this angle formed here on the outside of the triangle and the, the base is called the exterior angle. And so we, I've got it labeled four because there's some interesting things about that that we can that we're going to see. Uh, the theorem, there's a couple of theorems here. The first one is if we add up one, two, and three, it equals to 180 degrees. That's something that's probably a no surprise to you. The other theorem, though, may be a surprise that angle four is always going to be equal to the sum of angle one and three. It's what's stated here. So angle four is equal to the sum of one and three, and then we'll see that in a proof. prove the exterior angle theorem, we've got it redrawn up here with A, B, C as our points. This is the point D out here. And what I'm, well, I'm gonna, I'm, we'll pick that up later. Let's just say first as a given. Take the steps of the proof. Angle B, C, D, this angle is the exterior of angle triangle A, B, C. That's a given. Now I'm going to draw a line that's parallel to line A, B and I'm going to draw it through point C. Now that's a postulate, something he tells us earlier, is, is, is giving a line over here, if there's a point in space, there's only one line that I can draw through that point that's going to be parallel to that line. So the reason for that is postulate number seven, which is what that says, and it's construction. I constructed that line. So angle one uh, uh, is equal to angle B and what that means is this angle up here and the reason is these are two parallel lines and these are alternate interior angles therefore they're equal. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to BCD because the between is theorem. Now what we what we say is angle A over here is equal to angle 2. Once again two parallel lines angle A and angle 2 are corresponding angles. Now let's do some, uh, well, let's, let's say angle 1 plus angle 2 has got to be equal to angle A plus angle B. Now, how do I get there? Well, the corresponding angles that we've said before, but also it's a substitution because we've already said that A was 2 and B was 1. So we substitute down here and we get A plus B. So given this, now A plus B must be equal to angle B, C, D, because we've already said uh, A plus B is equal to 1 plus 2, and we've said uh, back here on line 4 that 1 plus 2 equal angle B, C, D. So there's our exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles.